Dry lightning strikes a nearby hill. Multiple fires spark up around the county. Underfunded volunteer wildfire teams scramble to control the quickly expanding blaze. It's chaotic, confusing, and dangerous. In California, unfortunately, we know of this situation all too well. Coordination is hard in general, but add on life or death stakes to the situation and it becomes even more challenging and important than usual. And it's not just wildfires. Any kind of disaster, coordination is paramount. The first people on the scene need to figure out what is happening, where everyone is, and what to prioritize. Those first responders are usually volunteers from the community who have less training and resources than the bigger agencies. Hi, I'm Nick Slanik, and we've created GridSync for these responders. So what is GridSync? GridSync is a live shared mapping software for disaster coordination. While there are other coordination solutions out there, they're expensive, complicated, and require build out to work effectively. GridSync provides an easy to use, low cost, and decentralized disaster coordination solution specifically for under-resourced responders. And I've got Jack here to talk more about it. And now for some of the challenges that we've been through. And so some of the high level things, um, the Zoom level environment was not very easy to develop in. Nothing really compares to working face to face in somewhere like the Ames Lab, which we're all missing very much. Um, and a lot of time was spent screen sharing code to work through problems. Um, and one very important thing was using Git and GitHub for version control to make sure that um, we were always developing on the most up-to-date version of the code. So if I made some changes, I would push it and then Nick could pull it down and then he would have the most up-to-date version of the code. Um, and then also um, remaining competitive against other software offerings. So the software marketplace is constantly evolving and it can easily render our solution very obsolete. Um, as we saw with ArcGIS, they released a product that was pretty much what we had in mind and wanted to make. So we had to significantly pivot and differentiate ourselves. And then for the more low level technically focused challenges, um, our team was pretty tested when trying to integrate multiple software tools and frameworks that we really had no prior experience using. So for example, when we were first trying to display points of interest on a map, um, we needed to get data from PHP into JavaScript. And we found that quite challenging, uh, which led us to discover and then learn about and use Ajax. So, and then another thing was once we finally got the website hosted, um, we needed to pull user locations from that. Um, but you can't do that if you don't have an SSL certificate and your website doesn't have HTTPS. Um, and thankfully, we were able to get some help from our classmate and AWS wizard Jordan Soldo, and we were finally able to get an SSL certificate for our domain, and we were able to then pull user locations and have that live updating. So as Jax talked about... Thanks, Nick. So unfortunately, our group was far too focused on delivering a high quality MVP all semester to really secure and take the time to find a official backer. However, this is not to say that GridSync has not garnered preliminary interest from agencies as small as a local Northern California uh, fire brigade in Woodside or one as big as FEMA, which we all know stands for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Um, and as it relates back to our target clientele, CERT is actually overseen by FEMA, which was a lucky coincidence. The four distinguished agencies listed on the slide have requested a slide deck and demo of our product, which we hope to follow up on once we fully sort out minor bugs and glitches. Software like ours, unfortunately, to be used in high-risk environments with real-life implications cannot and frankly will not be deployed in an incomplete and non-stress-tested state. So with all that in mind, our advice to your juniors is that while it may seem daunting and overwhelming to create your application from relative scratch, uh, I highly recommend doing it. It's a great learning experience. And at, you know, as we said, we, you learn a lot in the classroom, but the, really the way you learn is by banging your head against the wall and uh, you know, addressing problems as they come. And, and we learn quite a bit uh, from doing that. Also, if you're gonna be doing any sort of web dev, use Bootstrap, it'll save your life. Um, as for